Sega. The Napoleonic Age. A time of epic land battles and naval engagements, of political unrest and widespread revolution. An era defined by one legendary general. Hi, I'm Kieran Brigden, Studio Communications Manager at the Creative Assembly, where the next in our strategy series, Napoleon Total War, is being developed. In Napoleon, there are numerous improvements to existing features, but also brand new ones, never seen before in a Total War game. There are three separate campaigns, each with a campaign map displaying all four seasons for the first time. Here we see Europe in spring, summer, autumn and winter. Both the campaign and battle maps will use new environmental effects and include new gameplay features, such as the campaign map attrition system. By concentrating on specific areas of Europe and the Middle East, we've been able to include a greater level of terrain detail, with mountain passes, rivers and valleys modelled in a tactical detail not previously seen. The structure of the game also differs from previous Total War titles. If you want to play a classic campaign as a nation other than France, that's available in the Campaigns of the Coalition mode. However, the major focus is the story-driven mode, where you endeavour to lead Napoleon to glory through three challenging campaigns, Italy, Egypt and Europe. You can even take command in Napoleon's major engagements, leading your troops in such epic battles as Austerlitz and Waterloo. These are available outside the story mode as standalone battles, either in a single player game or multiplayer with your friends. Gameplay wise, there are some really exciting additions. We've included new diplomatic options, like the request to break an alliance with a rival, or for a trade embargo to be put in place against a third party nation. In naval battles, damaged ships can now be repaired, extending their lifetime but leaving them vulnerable to attack. And in land battles, the new general's abilities will be crucial, as they can not only boost the morale of troops in close proximity, but also directly inspire a selected unit or rally tired troops routing from the field. The multiplayer experience reaches a new level with drop-in battles and the eagerly anticipated multiplayer campaigns. Drop-in battles enable you to fight a human opponent within a single-player campaign. You can either fight against another player in their campaign battles, or have the option to request a human opponent take command of the opposing army in your campaign. And with the multiplayer campaigns, Napoleon's struggle for power in Italy, Egypt and Europe can be played against a human opponent. This feature is a major leap forward in the series and will take the Total War multiplayer experience to the next level.